everyone, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a delicious frozen mousse-like dessert that's really like an ice cream. And the flavor that I'm teaching is staziatella, which means like chocolate kissed. So it's a semifretto, which is a frozen ice cream basically. And it's a vanilla custard that's, that, that has like melted chocolate swirled throughout. And then we're going to top it with a ganache and some mini chocolate chips. It's going to be out of this world. Straziatella is one of my favorite ice cream flavors whenever I go to Greece. It's actually served as gelato. It's so simple, but it's so delicious. And that's why I decided to share this recipe with you today. So you don't need an ice cream maker or anything like that. It comes together in no time and it really, it doesn't take a lot of time. The freezer does all of the work for you. That's where most of the time is spent in the freezer. So let's go over the ingredients and then we're going to get started. So for this first step for making the custard, we have some egg yolks and whole eggs here. And all of the measurements are going to be on the website, so don't worry about it. We have the egg yolks and the, um, the whole eggs. I'm going to put some white sugar in here, a pinch of salt, and that's it. Then we're going to transfer this onto, I have some simmering water here. Now we're going to create like, uh, we're, going to heat, we're going to heat this from the steam that's coming out of the water. So you want to make sure that it's, there's steam coming out, but it's not boiling because you don't want to overcook the eggs and have them burn and curdle. So we're going to put the bowl on top and I'm going to use my handheld mixer with uh, the beater attachments. You can do this by hand. If you're going to do this by hand, you're going to want to get a big whisk and you're going to stand here and whisk this for about 10 minutes until it's really nice and thick. The mixer makes it go a little bit faster, so as soon as it's really pale, thick and um, yellow, it'll be ready and that should take about five minutes. So it's ready when, it, when you lift the beater and it kind of creates a ribbon. When it falls, basically it'll be really pale and very, very nice and thick. So we're going to remove it from the heat. We're going to move on to making the next part of this uh, dessert, which is the whipped cream. So in my mixer, I have two cups of heavy whipping cream. I'm just going to add powdered sugar to it and a little bit of vanilla extract. Once it begins to thicken, I'm going to add a little bit of yogurt. And that's the secret ingredient. You could use yogurt or sour cream. It's going to add a delicious tang, which is going to give it kind of like a cheesecake flavor. And it's going to be really unexpected and really nice. All right. So now both my custard and my whipped cream is completely ready and you want it to be nice and thick and creamy just like this. What I did is I melted um, some chocolate. These are uh, melted, actually you can chop up chocolate, but these are chocolate, chocolate chips that aren't really chocolate chips because chocolate chips have stabilizers in them that prevent them from melting. So when it melts, it never melts smooth. These are like chocolate calais or whatever, but you can take a chocolate baking bar this is semi-sweet, use your favorite type of chocolate, and just melt it completely. I'm out of decorating bags right now, they're all at the bakery. So I'm just going to use a, a plastic bag. I'm just going to pour it all in here, because that's going to help make a nice design and like distribute the chocolate evenly throughout the dessert. I'm just going to fold my heavy cream, my whipped cream, into my um, custard right here. Take a little bit first and lighten it up. And just fold it with your spatula and if you see any streaks left in the end just take your whisk and go through it and smooth them all out beautiful this is good to eat just like this but I'm gonna restrain myself and uh, continue making the dessert that I started off making but this right here is delicious with some berries just saying <laughs> you can take a spoonful and taste it it's so good you'll know what I mean now the next step is you want to take a loaf pan and line it really carefully with plastic wrap and that's just so that way once it freezes it's very easy to take it out and uh, take it out of the pan it won't get stuck uh, stuck in the pan I'm going to take half the mixture and pour it into my pan right here and then now it's time to distribute the chocolate I'm going to cut a little tip off of the end of my bag here we are and then we're just going to drizzle half the chocolate in. Then I'm going to pour the rest of my mixture on top. 
flatten it out. Now it's time for the rest of the chocolate. Now all we're going to do is just make a decorative pattern going all throughout and that is going to freeze up into bits of chocolate that are going to be delicious. Now at this point this is going to go in my freezer and the best is to leave it in there overnight but you want to leave it in there at least four to six hours until it's nice and hard and solid and then when it comes out you're going to see what I mean it's going to be perfect it's going to be smooth creamy delicious then we're just going to top it with some more chocolate and chocolate chips. All right, so now the next part is to make more melted chocolate that's going to go on the top. And I have a little bit of heavy cream that I've heated up until it came to a boil and some semi-sweet chocolate that I'm going to put in there. And now I'm just going to pop, actually I'm going to pop this into the microwave for a couple of seconds just until it melts completely. Now the reason I put cream in this one, not in the other one, is because the cream is going to make this dry and it's still going to be not as hard and as crisp because I want to have different textures going on. The chocolate that's going to be inside the stracciatella semifretto is going to be more hard and crispy. And then this one on top is going to be kind of soft and luxurious. And then we're going to top it with some more crunchy chips. So the different textures, you're going to, you're going to get creamy, crunchy, sort of crunchy. It's just going to be really nice when you're going to eat it. So I'm going to warm this until these chips melt and then we're going to pour it on top. Try to use the best quality chocolate that you can find. Time to take this out and show you what we've got. Look at how beautiful that is. Now I had this sitting out of my freezer for about 10 minutes and this is best served when it's a little bit soft. It just gets extra creamy and really nice. This is going to actually be the bottom even though it's really pretty I know but it's going to be the bottom. I'll put this over here in my platter. Now, for the finishing touches, we're going to take some of the melted chocolate and we're just going to drizzle it on top. You can also put this in the bag and do the same thing we did when we were putting the chocolate in there. And then we're going to take some more chocolate chips and just sprinkle them on top just like that. And just like that, it's ready. If you wanted to, instead of putting the chocolate on top and you had caramel sauce, you can definitely serve it with some caramel sauce, but we're keeping things chocolatey around here today. I'm going to cut into this and show you what it looks like. Look at that. You get the shards of chocolate inside, chocolate chips on top. I cannot wait to taste this. I'm going to taste it after I give you all the information. So the link is going to be in the description box down below. Always takes you directly to the website, www.dimitrasdishes.com. I also really want to share with you my tiramisu semifretto, which is delicious. Let me know if you want to learn how to make it in the comment section below. Share pictures with me after you make this on social media. I want to see your recreations. I love seeing your recreations, so share with them. Share them with me on Instagram and on Facebook. Comment down below, let me know what you want to learn how to make next. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Hmm.